Okay, so, brothers and sisters, we've been able to go back to Cape Coast Castle using the door for turn. And I want you all to know that the door became door for turn when African men and women from several parts of the world decided to go back to the continent of Africa to celebrate their freedom on the continent of Africa. So it took them years to organize a pilgrimage, but then in the year 1998, they were able to go back to Ghana to celebrate Emancipation Day, which was themed the Great Homecoming. And on that day, when all these Africans arrived here, they were not alone. They had with them two caskets. In the caskets were skeletons of ex-slaves. One from Jamaica, Madame Christel, one from New York, Samuel Carson. They brought them to Abanzi. And Abanzi is where we have Fort Amsterdam. Through Fort Amsterdam, lots of Ghanaians were taken to Suriname, so they stopped there and performed the ceremony for them Suriname. before bringing them to Cape Coast Castle, not by road, but by sea. So from that port to this very port, they docked. And when they docked, they carried the caskets, walked them up the stairs, they used that and never used it back up. They walked them through the door of no return to the courtyard of the castle, did whatever they had to do there, and afterwards reburied them at Asin Mansa Slave Market. But immediately they walked them through the door of no return. Know that automatically, the jinx of door of no return got shattered. Tell an every single African that was taken away that even if all of them are dead, today is the day that their ancestors, their kids, grandkids, can all go back to the continent of Africa and claim their place or find their roots. Right. And that is why we have door of return at the back of the door of no return. And on the wall, if you had seen it, there is a plaque there which says Aquaba. It means welcome. And it's there to welcome every single one of you that went out of the castle through the door of no return and went back in. And since you've done this, I officially say Aquaba to all of you. Welcome back to the land of the ancestors, my brothers and sisters. But then, in entirety, I just want us to bring everything to an end here. But then before you all leave, the question is, has slavery ended? No. It still lives. We see it go on all the time, but we mostly keep quiet about it as people and enjoy our peace. So, if you are very much at peace with yourself and the world you live in is not at peace with itself, the question is what good will that be off to any of us living in it? Exactly. If it doesn't affect you directly, indirectly, it will come back to you. That is why I am pleading with all of us here that when we go out of here today and we see forms of it on the streets, let's not turn a blind eye. Let's rather do our best and change people's lives. The communities, the nations, the world. And if the world becomes a better place, I know very well I won't have to come looking for you, yes. asking you to go and have fun in the world. Because automatically, if you are very much at peace with yourself, you are a very happy person, and fun will chase after you by itself. Yes. Right. Well, I don't really, really know what all of you are here doing, but I'll say good luck to each and every one of us here. If you are going back home, have a safe trip, enjoy the rest of your stay in this beautiful and peaceful country. Once again, my name has been Sebastian Kwamina Tete, and I say peace be unto all of you, and thank you for being here. Thank Have a you, great one. Thank you, brother. Take us uh, to some uh, group pictures. All right. Take some pictures together. All right. Uh, on All right. Top. Our family, uh, run away, take some group pictures, and I'll give you a last shot of the door of return. We're going to some group pictures. I follow the guide, and we're good. So, family. We're going to show you that last sign. Our good brother here. The colors of the nation. And this is the growth return. So we have returned, family, and we have returned strong.